Welcome to the guide on how to navigate through SANR. On the SANR landing page, we can view a brief introduction to the platform and how your reputation can be monetized and how the signals competitions can work. For the SANR competitions, we have the Chillin, Dragon, and Phoenix Leagues, where players can rack up points by forecasting crypto price signals without risking money. Be sure to try it out for a fun time predicting the market. Before we register our wallets with SANR, we would first need to have 0.001 ETH available on the ZK Sync L2 chain. So for that, let's walk through this step together to bridge some ETH from the Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync era. We will be bridging ETH over on Rhino Phi Bridge. You can find the link in the descriptions below. Right now, we will be bridging 0.005 ETH as we will need some extra ETH to show you some additional features of SANR later in this video. To get started with RhinoFi, first connect and authenticate your preferred DeFi wallet to bridge your ETH. Once you have authenticated your DeFi wallet, ensure your transaction amount and destination is set correctly to the ZK Sync era L2. You can then proceed to initiate the bridge process and confirming the transaction on your wallet. Once you have signed the bridge request, it will take about a minute or so for the ETH to arrive into ZK Sync. Now that the ETH has been bridged over, let's head back to the SANR platform to register our wallet. Once we have entered the SANR platform, we will be brought into the feed page. Let's register our wallet now. To access the SANR platform, we would need an invite code. You can find an invite code from any existing members in our community. Be sure to check our Twitter, Discord, and Telegram for any access to the platform. To get registered on SANR, we would need to generate our key. Holding a key to a player grants you access to their trading signals and also access to a direct chat with them. To generate your key, the platform will prompt you to switch to the ZK Sync chain, and there we will then be able to generate our SANR profile key for a small fee. Be sure to link up your Twitter account to promote and grow your trader reputation on Crypto Twitter. We also shout out to any great signals players have made from our official SANR Twitter, so don't miss out. Also remember to activate your messenger to chat with any players of keys that you own. Now that we have registered our profile, we can view the feed page showcasing signals from other signal providers. Take note that we can only view open signals from providers whose keys we own. On the battle page, you can observe the competitions which are being held every two weeks, each epic spans up to four weeks, and players are open to signal making for the first two weeks of the epic. As shown earlier, the competition has three different leagues, each rewarding separate criteria to win the top ranking. Here, players battle every two weeks to win San R points. Here, you can view the stats of the Epic and also go through to see what competition you are up against or find promising providers to follow. Now that we have gone through the battle page, let's open a signal of our own. Over on San R app, every signal forecasted is recorded on the blockchain and thus legitimizing every user's historical trading reputation. 
Let's pick a fun coin that we would want to put our predictions on. For this video, let's put a signal on Pepe. I don't know about you, but I think Pepe has been rising a bit too much recently. And I'm thinking of putting a sunset on the pairing, signaling that the price is going to go down. For the take profit target, I'm going to estimate a 20% profit target and a stop loss of 5%. You can also manually input the target numbers yourself if you want. I'm pretty confident on this signal, so I'm going to put a max leverage of 10. Down here, you can input your thoughts on the signal and explain in the title and description on why you are making it. I'm just going to put a cheeky description on Pepe. Once done, you can then proceed to switch to the San R blockchain. After switching, you will then be prompted to approve the transaction to cast the signal on the blockchain. Once the signal has been created, you have the option to promote your signal on any social media outlet of your preference. We can already view the signal we have created on our signals list here. Now, let's head to our personal profile to check out the features we have there. Our account is currently looking quite empty, as we haven't made much signals yet, but we'll check a different user's account in just a moment. On the top section of the page, you can view several stats on your keys and the keys you hold and the revenue generated. Scrolling down, you will be able to see the stats on the signals created and your rewards from the leagues, if any. Here is the PP short signal we created just a moment ago. Now let's head to the key overview section. Here, you can view the in depth chart of Key's price history and list of people that purchased it. On the Portfolio tab, however, shows the keys that you currently own, be it either your own or from other players. On the Invites tab, you can find your invite codes and also find the ETH earned from your referrals. So be sure to start sharing your codes with others. Now, let's head into the Top Keys page where we view all the different kinds of players on San R. To navigate through the players, you can sort through the list through various criteria shown on the table. See how I sort it through the list of users from how many keys other people have minted on the user, their percentage of signals in profit, or even the total performance history. Now, let's find a user's account that has piqued our interest and check out their profile. Over on this profile, there is a larger amount of signals history and thus more data for us to observe and to analyze if you are interested in purchasing their key. On their key overview page, you can check out their key history and the activity of people that purchase their key. On their portfolio tab, you can observe the user's portfolio of keys that they have on hand and how it has changed over time. If you have done enough research on the user and are interested in purchasing their key, you can do so here. Click on Buy and you will be prompted to switch back to ZK Sync Chain to purchase their keys. Once completed, 
you will now own a new key of that player and will now have access to all their open signals. Let's take a look back on the Portfolio tab on our personal profile. You can see that our portfolio has reflected the key we purchased on the chart. Congratulations on purchasing your new key! With that, that's the end for all that we have to show you on San R. Thanks for watching until the end. We hope you have a fun time forecasting prices and analyzing signal providers. Good luck!